U.S. troops targeting Iraqi forces instead of backing them. Speaking on Tuesday, Fali Al-Fayed urged the Iraqi government to call for an end to the U.S. military mission, as it had previously requested their presence, al Ahaid News website reported. The Americans are not a pro-Iraqi, but rather a dominant and occupying force, he stated, adding, the American forces currently present at their bases are combat personnel, and their job seems to be inciting groups opposed to their presence in Iraq, which is a source of instability. U.S. troops are not fulfilling their duties to provide Iraqi forces with monitoring and intelligence support or equip them with weapons, but are targeting Iraqi forces instead, including Hasht al shaibi especially the commanders of the Nasser resistance group, he continued. In early 2003, the U.S. invaded Iraq under the later debunked pretext that the regime of Saddam Hussein possessed weapons of mass destruction. It withdrew soldiers from Iraq between 2007 and 2011, but redeployed them in 2014 along with other partners to allegedly counter the threat from the Daesh Takfiri terrorist group. Since then, Washington has been fabricating scenarios to prolong its presence in the country and causing insecurity there, dragging its feet on the withdrawal of all foreign forces under its leadership as part of law adopted by the Iraqi parliament. On January 3, 2020, the U.S. assassinated Iran's legendary anti-terror commander Lt. Gen. Qasem Soleimani and his Iraqi trench mate Abu Mahdi al-Mohandis, deputy head of the PMU, in a drone strike authorized by former President Donald Trump near Baghdad International Airport. Two days later, the Iraqi parliament unanimously approved a bill demanding the withdrawal of all foreign military forces led by the United States from the country.